They are symbols of an ongoing conflict. Israeli checkpoints across the West Bank, causing major delays and preventing Palestinians without permits from leaving the territory. Kalandia is the best known, a flashpoint for violence. Now it has received a major upgrade that could transform the commute for some 7,000 Palestinians who cross here each day. Today we open the new Kalandia checkpoint to ease the lives of Palestinians entering Israel. The new technology will facilitate the entrance of Palestinian workers and residents into Jerusalem. In a month and a half, we will start fixing the checkpoint so that cars can pass more easily. We will add two lanes. The Media Line's Arab Affairs correspondent, Dima Abu Maria, was at the opening of the enhanced checkpoint. The $11 million project was undertaken by the Israeli army and the Israeli civil administration that oversees parts of the West Bank. The new facility includes 27 electronic speed gates that open with the swipe of a magnetic card that Palestinians must apply for. Previously, people would have to line up for hours before presenting their credentials to Israeli soldiers that check them manually. It's my first experience here and it's much easier than the other crossing points. It has a variety of facilities and it's clean. I think it's an excellent and successful project. There are also two special areas designed for people with disabilities, the sick and the elderly, to allow them to pass more easily. But not everyone is enamored with the development. In the end, it's still a checkpoint. They may have changed the gates and got new doors. However, it's forced upon us against our will. Although the new checkpoint stands to increase the quality of life for some Palestinians, Many view the new Kalandia as but a shinier version of the same old obstacles to peace. From the new Kalandia checkpoint that connects the city of Jerusalem with the West Bank city of Ramallah, this is Dima Abu Maria reporting for the Media Line.